hello you guys good morning and welcome back to my channel as you can tell in the title we're gonna do a full what I eat in a day so I'm gonna bring you along for my day we're gonna do a total day in the life as well as show you everything I eat in a day to fuel my body feel my best support my workouts build the nice lean muscle and in doing so we're gonna hit our protein goals I just finished up that salad as you guys saw I was gonna go for a walk outside today usually do my walks inside on our treadmill but today is super gloomy and super rainy which I love like I'm so happy it's raining right now but that means I'm not gonna be able to go on a walk outside which is totally fine I wanted to talk to you guys about tracking your calories and macros and what I do specifically when it comes to nutrition and that is I have I've tracked calories and macros I've done it for years and years however I don't believe it's a lifestyle by any means do I believe you should be doing it constantly I believe it's a tool you should have in your back pocket to be able to turn on and off for instance we are going to Mexico in a week so the last couple of weeks i have been tracking my calories and my protein goal because i have a specific goal so anytime i have a specific goal i'm trying to reach i will track my calories and my protein over last winter i was tracking calories and protein because i was trying to bulk up i was trying to build my glutes build muscle and although you can do it without tracking I have found for myself and through clients it's the most efficient way of reaching a specific goal and so we're heading to Mexico in a week so when we get back from Mexico I will no longer be tracking with my clients private clients I do teach them the tools of tracking the calories and their protein and their macros and um, all the things however it's not a one-size-fits-all and just because tracking calories and macros works for one person it's it's not gonna work for the next like I have some people some clients who do and some clients who don't and some clients who started out doing it and then you know dropped off and found that tracking is just not what works for them and they stop tracking and they're just being very mindful and still doing our workout programs and everything and have found great results doing that and I recommend if at any point it becomes negative like you're it, it impacts your relationship with food I recommend stopping right away because ultimately regardless of any physical goal you have your relationship with food is most important and there are other ways other approaches you can take to reach your goal because I am so busy with like work and running around and being a mom and all the things I have found it easiest for me to just I don't like to meal prep I used to meal prep but it I've found that that's almost more time consuming for me and it's more difficult for me and I honestly get really grossed out and really sick of the food that I 
prepped and so I don't end up eating it anyway. I just do things like salads and I pre-make proteins. So like I'll pre-make chicken or I'll pre-make ground turkey or I'll do, um, like you saw for breakfast, I'll do the mush overnight oats. They're already done. I'm all for making your, o your own overnight oats. However, that saves me time. I don't have to make it. They're super good, macro friendly. Um, and they're ready for me when I need to take the boys to school. So things like that. Um, I did eat out today, got that salad. Um, but for dinner tonight, we're gonna make a Buddha bowl and I'll show you that of course. But things like that where you know, it's like a one pan, one sheet pan dinner and there's going to be a ton of leftover. Doing things like that really help me when trying to just be efficient because I'm all about efficiency. Hi, can I get four shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup? And then in it, I will do two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and then one stevia and one pump of pumpkin and then light whip, and then that's it for that. And then just a tall ice water. And then a tall ice water. And then that's it. All right, it'll be five minutes left a little. Great, thank you. I have a pick me up because I do have to work out in a few hours, so this will be like my pre-workout caffeine. For the purposes of, I know people are gonna ask me, I'll put the calories and the macros up on the screen, but this is what it should look like. And then I always get a water on the side. And then what I'll do is I will pour my own water into it. Instead of ordering just an Americano, I get the shots because I feel like anytime I do an iced Americano, it's just way, way too much water. And I just, just a little bit, usually just the ice melting and it is enough but sometimes I'll add just a little bit of water and then I need to work in the whipped cream. We're gonna head home and then we're gonna start prepping for dinner, not eat yet, but I know the babies are gonna be hungry. So just getting things going, getting it ready, and then I will show you guys what we're having for dinner. We're gonna do Buddha bowls, so I'll show you exactly how I make those. There's it is a few hours later. The kids and I just got home and I'm gonna have this Jack Link's beef stick to hold me over before dinner. I'm gonna start prepping, but as I prep the veggies, get everything ready for dinner, I'm gonna have this as a snack. These are so great to keep on hand. I keep them in my gym bag, in my car, because I'm always on the go. Whether I'm in like a car pickup line for school or running to the gym or running errands, whatever it is. So super high in protein and just a really good, easy option to have as a snack. For dinner tonight, we're making pesto buddha bowls so you'll need chopped kale brussels sprouts petite golden potatoes we're gonna chop these very thin and put them in the air fryer then you'll need some pumpkin seeds to top it off as well as garbanzo beans mine are in the oven right now toasting up and then the recipe does call for homemade pesto however i don't have time to make that tonight the boys are hungry so we're going to use this pre-made already done pesto. I will leave the recipe in the description and then I'll show you guys when it's all done. I just finished up making dinner. The kids insisted on not eating, so I'm not gonna force them to eat, I don't know. They'll eat when they're ready. So we're sitting outside and I'm watching them ride their bikes. It's freezing, but it, it rained all day, so it smells so good out. Where my kids could survive off of air. I try so hard to feed them. But the, they go through phases where like, one day I cannot keep them full. And the next day, I can't get them to eat a single bite of anything but like fruit snacks. But I didn't make them this for dinner. I made them like a potato sausage egg scramble, which they love. I would never eat Brussels sprouts. I wish. I've tried, but they, they wouldn't.